Thank you. So today I would like to talk about, oh, I'm sorry, my name is Joe Pali. And today I would like to talk about the OEU movement, which is just new and I'm announcing it just today. We are one, we're equal, and we are unique. So I'll, talk, I'll be talking about equality in the sense of income and gender and race, all of these three aspects. That's basically my outline. So I'm pretty sure you guys have been to the Martyrs Lane and you guys have probably visited the Eternal Fire. So one day, me and my friends, we are having fun, we are partying, we are dancing, we are drinking, and we say to ourselves, let's go to that view and enjoy it. So we walk there and as we get there and we are enjoying the view, I instantly see something that broke my heart. And that was, there were three homeless men sleeping there just by the fire, exactly in the middle of the fire. So that is, within that beauty, a sad fact, honestly. And let's look at some facts about inequality in Azerbaijan. So this is what the income distribution in Azerbaijan looks like by 2008. 40.5 for the highest 20, 22, 16.5, 12.6, and 8.4 only for the lowest 20%. And then when we look at the national poverty line, Azerbaijan has actually good progress because from the aging countries, it only has 4.9 of the population that is under the national poverty line. And then we come to gender. Um, I did this quick questionnaire, as of yesterday, asking this about gender discrimination. If people experienced it, and I got some interesting responses. For example, if we look at the female correspondent, they say, when I'm studying IT, I get discriminated. When I say I'm studying IT, when I say inappropriate worlds, men are considered superior, I pay the bill with my boyfriend in a restaurant, everybody laugh, and there are many much more. And from the male side, I found one interesting one. In our society, there are some discriminations, especially in families. However, it's okay and normal to have such discriminations for better life. And this is from a fellow student or uh, participant in this survey as well. And so I've told you about what people think, but now let's not generalize it. Let's talk about some facts. This global gender gap was done in 2016. It talks about how it, different genders have access to resources in a country. And that gem of Azerbaijan, you guys, or this country, has the rank of 86 out of 144. And with one being total equality, you guys have 0 0.684. So there are some good points, for example, economic participation and opportunity, but political empowerment is in shambles. Like it's 124 out of 144. And just to pause the video here a bit to emphasize, the political empowerment saying one is equality, it is 0 0.069, that's like 6.9 6 out of 100, which is pretty much a bit low. And other things even mentioned in today's presentation, uh, average uh, proportion married by age uh, 25, it's past, uh, like it's 46 female to 15, so the ratio is 2.98, almost three females are married by the time they're 25 to one male only. And another discriminatory fact is that parity of parental rights after divorce. When you go to court and you demand, uh, let's say your children to be custodied to you, it's 0 0.5 in the fact that two fathers almost get the custody uh, rather than uh, two, in a ratio to one woman. And there are, uh, sorry, there are other things to look at as well. Health is pretty good for Azerbaijan. And now, uh, let's talk about race. Race, from the European <coughs> Commission, it's not really that much of an issue. Hate crime, it's not really that reported incidents. They're not, it's officially as of data and service done of official partners, they're not that much. So, I've talked about data, facts, and figures, but, why am I here today? I'm, as I said, I'm here to tell you about the OEU movement. We are one, we are equal, we are unique. So to start with the income thing, uh, there was this show that I like, Kevin Probably Saves the World. Good show. And it's about a guy who gets superpower for being righteous and he helps people. That's not the point I want to focus on. But when he goes to these people and tries to help them, there is more of a sense of disbelief, unacceptance, and actually assault on him because he's doing these good things. I'm not saying the show is life, but it is a, refle a reflection of who we are. 
And what makes us human is the humanity that we have within us. And if we display that humanity and people are surprised by it, that should tell us something. That should convince us that we should be on the fight to actually continue to restore humanity. And to talk about gender, well, you know, yesterday was International Women's Day, I think, for the 104th time. And I would like to congratulate all of you who celebrated, not only women, but men also. And there are some things that I would like to talk about on this issue. Now, even from the uh, quick questionnaire that I provided fellow students, there was issues about Azerbaijan and overall in the world. And the Global Gap Report, or Gender Gap Report, actually reported that to get to a point where men and women are equal, in every sense, we need 217 years. That's like, I don't even know how many generations that is. That is a lot of time. And we had a good rise until 2016, but somehow 2016 to 2017, it went down. And another issue that is here is that women are discriminated. And, like, it shouldn't be only a woman's fight. Men should participate in too. I saw this interesting TEDx, which I think would really add to this uh, presentation, in which sometimes there is discrimination against men as well. I would like to use the like a girl presentation, in which if a man acts like a girl, he's discriminated against for being too weak, or too much of a sissy, or whatever the term you'd like to use is. And, in that sense, this type speaker, based on research, said that if men, men in the room, just listen, I know you guys are not like ready for marriage or anything, I don't think so, but when a man actually helps the woman in chores and housework and actually participate in the family part of life, the marriage is happier, the kids are happier, the sex life is happier, so that's like three things to have out of three which I don't think any of you would actually hate. So these are, I think, the issues that I wanted to talk about when it comes to inequality when referring to gender. And the last one I'd like to talk about, I guess the video is a bit late, um, is race. When it comes to race, again, officially there isn't a lot of official reports, but there is hate crime in a sense which there are certain neighbor, neighbor a certain neighbor of this country, that there had been incidents in the past and when referring to these uh, residents of this neighboring country, there is some hate speech involved. And more, furthermore, Arabs, Africans, those usually with a darker skin, Latinos, I would like to call it unintentional racism, because it's just people here see something new and let it like to stare. But it's some form of racism. Uh, so then what does the OEU advise you to do, or what do I advise you to do? First of all, it all starts with you, with, within you. I would like to wake up one day in a society. My dream is that I wake up, I look in the mirror, and I'm not defined by my gender, by my, the color of my skin, by these kind of social stereotypes that are placed upon me. I am born a male with reproductive organs, that is true. But I would not like to accept the social stereotypes of being a man or not being a woman. I might have feminine attributes, I might have masculine attributes as well. So you have to realize the equality that exists with... Uh, uh, I'm running a bit late. Uh, you have to realize the equality that exists among us. And to get to the end of it, at the end it says we are unique, the you part of the OEU movement. What I mean, this is the reason I actually dressed up in my traditional uh, country attire today. When I say we're one and, and we're equal, I'm not saying I want to abolish the difference that exists between us. There are beauty in every aspect of your country for each and every one of you, and all of your Azerbaijan, but every other country as well. And I would like to end the speech with the beauty of the world lies within the unity and diversity of our society and I believe that you should do everything within yourself, within your society, family, and otherwise to achieve that. We are one, we're equal, we're unique. Thank you.